Welcome, Josh Lancaster here, British Strongman Coaching. In this video, I'm going to show you some sample, simple four-week training blocks that have worked for our, for our complete beginners to international champions. With these training blocks, the aim is to give you a great idea and direction what you're doing for your main exercise. But then if you're feeling like you're wondering what you should do for your assistance exercise and how to work on your weaknesses, then obviously I would recommend working with a coach and working with somebody who will be able to help you and select the stuff that's specific to you. Head to the link in description to download your copy. Four-week deadlift program. Deadlift for max, with the goal being that you hit a heavy single at week four, whether this be in training or whether that be you be at competition. So week one, we'll go for eight to 10 singles in the 78 to 83% range and only go up with the weight and only go towards 10 reps if you feel like you're improving technical quality as your sets goes on. So technical quality for singles, we're looking for especially if you're coming out of a phase where you've been working reps is when you work in reps on the second, third, fourth, fifth rep, you get the benefit of, of doing the eccentric, which is going to help you with your positioning. It's going to help with giving you a bit of stretch reflex, et cetera. So what we're trying to do with week, week one is drill this, basically learning how to create tension on the, the first rep of each set. So don't be surprised and, and actually use that as a bit of a goal to improve the quality as the sets go, go, go on. And if this means keeping it keeping it conservative with the load and staying towards seventy eight percent, then then great. But if you feel like you're you're aiming you're improving as the sets go on and you want to sneak the weight up, aim for eighty three percent as a as a bit of a limit on this. And then week two, we should feel like you you're confident to add a little bit of weight from the previous week, and we're looking to replicate the quality on the the first few sets that we did from the the last few sets of the previous week. Take take some extra warm ups if you need if you need to work some extra singles in the fifty percent sixty percent range because they're not going to fatigue you too much. So don't be afraid to to use those to to iron out this this line and the the bar path and work work up towards eighty eight percent. And then week three, if you're feeling absolutely amazing and you want to hit three singles at ninety percent, you know that this is probably going to set you up for PB territory the the following week in terms of strength and skill. But if this is feeling like you're, you're sacrificing quality significantly to do that, then just work work towards the, the, the lower end and uh, aim for reps of equal quality. And if you can sneak up towards the, the top end of the range, then then uh, great, then do that. And then the following week, if it's competition week, maybe at the start of the week, do something like six singles at 50% where you, you're just addressing it like your max. You, you're doing your ritual, you're setting up your strap to the bar in the same way. You're treating that 50% like it's like you're going for a new PB. Deadlift training block, deadlift for reps. Deadlift training block, deadlift for reps. In this scenario, we're going to aim for the max reps in 60 seconds. And we're going to assume that you know what your comp weight is. So say you know what your comp weight is and you're strong enough, you feel like you're strong enough to recover from doing working at high percentages in terms of this block. Take around 90% and aim for a rep. Do a 60 seconds AMRAP. See what you can do. Like obviously make sure that you you know that you can pick, you know you can recover from this so stay within your limits and then the second week what the take the reps that you that you manage and then aim for three sets at this number of reps so you're practicing doing that the same amount of reps that you did in week one but drop the weight weight down a little bit so so work at a, an eight RPE or two, save two reps in reserve. So it, it, it may, may mean dropping the weight down 10 to 15% from week one to achieve this. And then what we're looking for here is you're looking for a consistent pacing and you're looking for le learning to pace for you. And you, you need to decide whether it's going to be better breaking the, breaking the reps over the course of, over the course and using your time and splitting it up pretty equally. Some people work well, splitting up, say you're going for a set of 15, splitting it up into say little blocks of five. Some people work better doing rest pause style. Where the where the spreading the singles over the course of the, the the set. Some people just work better just going for an all all out all out assault for as many as they can do in in as quick a time possible. So you need to decide what your your strategy is for your for your comp and learn how to pace this. So if you and then we go into week three, and then where you're ideally looking to in, increase the load here from week two. But you're still going to you're still going to practice the same number of reps that you did on week one because we want to. The, the big thing is that we're we're managing the the pacing. We're learning the how to the skill of controlling the specific energy system. Um, but you should be able to increase the load. We're going to drop the sets amount of sets this week. Just doing two sets with maybe a, a a rep in the tank in terms of weight. So you feel like you're doing the the number of reps from week one, but you could maybe squeeze out another another rep 
and that you're really practicing the, the pacing and the breathing, you're going heavier than week two and you're feeling like that that you've got your, your pacing nailed and your strategy for the comp. So week four, so if you're doing comp week and you want to you practice your, your pacing at the start of the week, just practice the pacing and the strategy that you're going to use at no more than 50% of your max. And then maybe just add add an extra rep there just so you just so you're used to you're used to the, the pacing for the comp. And if you feel really good on the day and you you're doing do an extra rep. Deadlift program, four week training block. Deadlift five, three, two, one, low pressure block. I love this block personally to use with myself and use with clients when they maybe when they've come, come off the back of a of a competition peak and they've been hitting you've been hitting prescribing percentages, you've been prescribed, you've been forcing linear progression for a for a training phase. They're not really mentally ready to go into, say, a heavy volume block. They don't want to, they don't but they want to keep specific, they want to keep their eye in, they're enjoying deadlifting, but they don't they don't want to go into, say, an off-season block where they're working specific weaknesses necessarily they, just, they, they want to keep it in but they just want a bit of a mental rest i find that this this block works really really well and get a couple of weeks in and and you're taking the pressure away and you find that a lot of uh, you'll find that you take that pressure away and a couple of weeks in you might find that you you you're doing really well in terms of your, your top set so week one start at around 55 percent for a set of five and then add weight for four more sets of five focus on fun don't put too much pressure on your top set if you it, you could do a top set at 60%, which is going to feel perfectly reasonable. You're going to be able to work on technique, et cetera. But you might find that you get a few sets in and you want you want to increase adding weight and you and you might you might be fin finishing high, like quite high. So I, I wouldn't recommend going any higher than 75% for, for your top set, even if you feel good, because you want to be able to progress on to the next week. So next week, start with triples at 65%, add weight for four more sets of three. You can push the top set a little bit more, but I'd, but make sure that you're you're maintaining a constant bar speed throughout. You're not you're not get going into slow grindy rep territory because you, the whole the whole purpose of this is to to give yourself a bit of a bit of a mental break. So you can go heavier, but I, I, I wouldn't recommend going higher than eighty percent as your top set if you feel good. And then week three progressing seventy five percent for a double, and then four sets of two progress, aiming for the same bar speed, a little bit more effort on your top set. Again, I wouldn't recommend going higher than an eighty-seven and a half percent, really, just to give yourself somewhere to go on the on the on the final week. So week four, and this could be a fun competition week, or this could just be a, a training set. So start at eighty percent of what for one, and then add weight for four more sets of one, and then enjoy a low pressure top single. See how you feel.